So you want to go fast, you want to go real fast. Do you get new bearings or new wheels or what's the deal? So today I'm going to show you, or we're going to find out together if uh, bearings actually do make a difference. ABEC 9, ABEC 5, what's the deal? All right, let's go see if just bearings alone can make a big difference. So the first test is I'm going to roll down this hill. There's a bit of a hill here and I'm going to see where I stop. I'm going to do it three, three times and um, we'll mark it each time and see how far I get. Then we'll switch out the bearings and I'll do the same as well. Um, I'm not going to pump push or anything and we're just going to get the average out of the three and um, just see which one does better. Um, we're going to do it on the same day, same conditions, just to make everything um, fair. You know, kind of like a science experiment. Okay, so we've got this. That's going to be the start line and as you can see, I'm just going to put my wheels here and then all I'm going to do is just release. I might even tuck into a little ball so I get less resistance. So, let's go. Alright, here we go. My knees are getting sore. I'm going to have to do this three times. I'm rolling. Rolling, 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 and no, not going that far, but you know, oh, here we go. This tree. Now I've got this shoe, which I'm going to put on the ground as a marker. All right, and we're stopped. So let's pop that there. Marker, marker number one. Now I'm going to go back up and do number two. Okay, we went a bit further on number two. It's probably like another five meters. So I'm going to pull this camera back a bit. Go, went further again. So, if you look at this, we've got about five meters and then about another four extra meters. So, maybe the bearings are warming up a little bit as well. That may be something because um, I haven't worn these skates in a while. All right, I'm going to put some um, rocks down there. So that was the slow test, just um, a basic test, just small rolling, not much wind resistance. But now we're going to go bomb a big hill and I've got the GPS turned on the GoPro so we'll be able to see how fast I'm going. Um, I'll also um, have my Strava turned on so we'll be able to see how fast I'm going there. So we've got two points of reference and uh, we'll switch up the bearings again and we'll um, yeah, see which ones go faster. These are real world tests. So this is the big hill that I'm about to bomb, as you can see. You can get quite fast here. I think I've, um, on my skates, hit 40, 45 kilometers an hour. So <clears throat> that was on my faster skates. So we'll see what this one does. But um, now I just have to go up and down, up and down. Meet you at the top. Okay, so that's going to be my starting point, is the, um, the bus stop, so I'm going to start there every time. Alright, let's go. Okay, on, there's a car coming, I'm just going to wait until there's no cars coming. Just rolling. 
no pushing, which is kind of tough because you always want to push because you want to go fast. We've got a car coming fast, but that's alright, that's at the start. Alright, here we go. It's a beautiful day. Look at these beautiful trees. Alright, I'm going to concentrate now. We're picking up speed. It's actually going pretty fucking fast. Alright, we've gone faster. We're starting to get speed wobbles a little bit. going down a big hill like that I don't know how much bearings are going to help because that was pretty friggin fast with no pump no pushing or anything so now we're gonna switch out the bearings and see how fast we go on the ABEC 9s so these as I said are ABEC 1s let's see if ABEC 9s will make us go any faster down a big hill Alright, so you can see these are the old bearings here. They are actually ABEC 1K. Now I got these bearings off my um, cheapskates video. If you watch that video, link in the description below, um, where I buy a pair of old Oxygens and um, I paid uh, I can't even remember, $15 I paid for them and um, I wanted to see if they were if I could turn them into aggressive skates. So that's a good video if you, yeah, as I said, in the description below. Um, but they're, they're those bearings, they're, um, they're 608Z, but they should be 608ZZ because they've got a, um, a cover on both sides. So the, that's what the Z's for. It means that there's a, um, a metal cover and twice ZZ mean oh, for you sorry American ZZ um, it means it's on both sides so that's what that is we've got the spaces here which um, this one has the um, the aluminium spaces in between the bearing spaces um, which I'm gonna reuse so because these new bearings they don't come with the spaces so we'll just reuse the other ones and the wheels that I'm using are revolvers 72 mils um, which I got from Loco Skate Shop um, which I also did a video on link in the description if you want to watch that on um, how these perform I've actually done two videos one when I first got them and one after a year or two um, so that's that's interesting to watch as well if you want some of these wheels um, or these bearings as well are also a revolver from Loco Skate Shop the ABEC 9 um, skate bearings. Alright, let's put these bearings in. Now as you can see in this bearing it's got a, um, this side has got a metal dust cover, it looks like. Actually no, it feels like rubber, that's rubber. And that side there is rubber as well. So you can pop that out and um, oil it. Um, clean it first if you want, and then um, oil it, and it will make your bearings last longer. If you put some grease in there, um, that will last longer as well. You won't have to do as much maintenance, but it won't be as fast as putting like some oil in there. I reckon um, bike chain oil might do the job. That's what I'm going to try. Um, but that just means you've got to keep doing maintenance. Um. So I'm testing out the new bearings I've just put in and they're actually, uh, I can feel it straight away that a lot smoother and they feel a lot faster. But 
without um, truly testing them down that hill and um, checking out the speed, checking out the distance, we won't really know. But first impressions definitely feel a lot faster. Um, but we'll see if that results in um, better distance and better speed. Also, another thing people have been asking is um, if they should clean their bearings and what should they clean their bearings with. So some people have said acetone. Um, you can buy special bearing cleaning equipment, um, chemicals and stuff from the uh, skate shops, but um, just have a look what's in them because you probably can get it from the local hardware and um, it's probably just the same stuff. So um, you could even use, actually no, I'm not gonna give you advice on that because I don't know. Uh, I'll have to do some research. Time for test one with the new bearings, Abac 9s. All right, here we go. It's feeling faster, it's feeling a lot faster. Rolling, rolling. Now I'm coming up to the first set. I'll let you know when I pass it. Pass the first one, pass the second one, pass the third one. Holy crap, I'm going a lot further. Wow. Now there's the uphill section, which I have hit. That's conclusive. Right, I'm gonna pop the shoe down there. I've even, you can see it starts to go uphill here. Aren't that great? And I've already hit up here, so I don't know how much further I'm gonna go because it's uphill, but in um, the name of science. Consistency. That's consistent, look at that. I had to push because I thought that guy was going to steal my camera. He's looking a bit sus. Some conclusive evidence there. They stopped off right at the top of the hill, uh, bottom of the hill. Um, and there's, um, yeah, they just roll a lot faster and they get longer distance. So now it's time for me to go hit that uh, hill bomb again. And let's see how we go. Be interested to see what both the speeds are. Oh, now that means I've got to climb up that big ass hill again. Here we go. Is it faster rolling up the hill? And truthfully, it's hard to say because I'm more exhausted now, but it does feel a little bit faster. So, but that's, um, you know, it's not true science. Bus is gone. Right, I'm gonna set up um, Strava again. So let's hit start. That's recording. Put that back in my pocket. Helmet on. I'm exhausted from going up that hill again. Bloody steep hill. Let's go. There is a car coming. He'll probably come past. Feels smooth. Feels 
fast. Still very fast. Roll-off is fast as well. So that'll be interesting to see, once again, what we hit on Strava. Let's go back to the lab and study the results. See you back in the lab. So today was quite successful. We've got quite a conclusive result that new bearings are better than old bearings. Now, what we don't have a conclusive result on is whether brand new ABEC 1 bearings, 5, 7, 9, if they're any better. But I believe that you're not going to see much of a difference because it's very, very, on inline skates, you don't go fast enough to be able to um, appreciate the, the difference um, in the quality of an ABEC 1 to a 9. So, um, New bearings definitely do make a difference, but whether they're ABEC 9 or ABEC 1s, that's uh, yet to be proved because I don't have a brand new set of ABEC 1 bearings. But if someone wants to send me a set, I'll be sure to test them. Right, thank you.